in the, the exit position. Um, I made my exit, which would have been a perfectly normal uh, round canopy exit. Well, when the, the wind caught me from the side, it rotated me around, and my head started going down. So when my risers deployed, instead of going straight up, my right side kind of wrapped around the back side of my neck, and I felt it. And that's something I, you know, it's not outside of the norm to feel that for a, uh, a round canopy. <laughs> so I figured, okay, I'll have a couple twists, and I felt it twisting. So I thought, okay, I've got a couple twists I need to clear, no big deal. Well, uh, as soon as I, what I thought was the parachute fully deploying happened, um, I kind of looked up and I, you know, felt the, the riser in the back of my head, so I thought, okay, well, there's the twist. And I kind of looked up, and I could see the uh, the canopy, you know, folded up, but it's, you know, lined over just like in the video they showed us. Um, so I reached back and grabbed the risers and tried to pull them apart, thinking that that would maybe correct things. Um, nothing happened. I looked straight down at the ground, and this is when I really realized that I was spinning. Okay. Because I could see the cornfield rotating around. Okay. Me. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, so, I, so you didn't have much sensation of, of actually spinning around until you saw the ground to orientate yourself. I, I could, I vaguely in the back of my mind, I think I realized I was spinning, but that right. wasn't in the forefront. I right. Yeah. Yeah. To think yeah. About. Um, when I looked down, I could definitely see that I was spinning. That's where it really, you know, caught my attention. Hey, you're spinning. Yeah. You, you've got a line over. This is exactly what they talked about in the emergency procedures. So I stopped for a second, and uh, I could see, okay, you know, I've got plenty of altitude. And I just thought for, for a split second, it went through my mind, if I cut away, the rigger's going to be really pissed off because they're going to have to go get that shoot. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so, you know, I stopped and thought for a second. I looked back up at it, and it was the exact same condition it was a few seconds earlier. And I thought, nah, that's, that's not good. I need to go ahead and do it. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I did the exact, the exact procedure that they showed us, um, slow and deliberate. Look, grab, look, pull, and by the time I grabbed my reserve handle, I could feel it beginning to deploy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, yeah. you know, whatever, do it anyways. Pulled it, felt the canopy open up. I looked up, grabbed the, uh, the toggles, and um, I remember the, uh, the reserve canopy. Yeah. Um, it was also. Uh, I don't know if it was a, a true Raymer. It looked like it. I mean, it had cells, but it looked like there was no bottoms to them. Yeah, yeah. And it handled differently. Mm -hmm. the, uh, I mean, it was obviously smaller than the main. Yeah. And it just looked a little different. Um, so, anyways, I flared, and it didn't feel the same way as when you flare with the, the regular canopies. So I you know, look down, I look at the, uh, the wind sock. I started to, to steer, and about probably 20, 30 seconds later, after you know, I'd been driving the parachute for a little while, I look back and I see my mane still falling. And I stopped for a second, I was like, that just fucking happened. And then I, you know, for a second there, I was like, yeah. I'm alive! Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. That's, and that's when my heart started beating a little bit, and I continued to drive the chute. I hit the ground, and at that point, I was, you know, you saw me, I was pretty much ecstatic. But, uh, can I do that again? Yeah, 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 yeah. As yeah. soon as I hit the ground, I said, can I go do it again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but uh, yeah, the, the sensation of when the, the, um, your main canopy, when you'd cut it away, uh, you felt that you were free-falling again? You, you felt that you were free-falling? Probably, second. Uh, yeah, just, uh, it, it could have been anywhere from a split second to two seconds. Right. Um, it didn't feel like much, but I definitely felt it when it popped away. Yeah, I yeah. definitely felt my velocity increase. And, you know, it, of course, I'm still looking at my reserve handle, and yeah. I could see, as soon as it cut away, just in the background, I could see the ground start to rotate in a different direction. Right, right. So I knew I was free. Yeah. By the time I grabbed my... By the time I grab my reserve handle, I can feel the reserve can't be starting to yeah, yeah. deploy. But, you know, but just, um, the, the way they showed it to us, there's a clip on the the cutaway that uh, um, on the, the the shoot that pulls out the right. that, that starts. Were you aware of that? Yeah, and that's well, I, I realized that's what was happening when I felt the reserve start to deploy. Yeah, um, yeah. And uh, it, it basically it automatically, it probably about a second after I cut away. That's when it automatically started to deploy because of that automatic yeah, opening yeah. device. Um, but you know, it just of course still just thinking procedure in my mind. It went ahead. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well. It was um, quite a ride.